in as far as that interview that I promised you all evening, where South Africa's 400-meter Olympic world record holder Wade Fanikak set to, well, captain Team South Africa in this year's Vitality Running World Cup in 2021. An exclusive invitation, SABC News was part of a sit-down conversation with Fanikak. We pick up the interview with Wade updating, well, us on his family and life abroad. Um... I'm doing I'm doing well, thank you. Um, my wife is doing well. She's healthy. Everything's been going very smooth. Um, we 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 get very excited every time we feel movements and feeling the little baby interact with us. So it's definitely a very exciting time that we that we experiencing right now. Traveling so much and checking. Uh, obviously tapping into South Africa quite a bit now that I'm not at home. Uh, we've always been a, we've always been a country that 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 that's active when it comes to so much things. I mean, just last night I played a general knowledge game with, with some friends, and I saw South Africa uh, rated amongst the top three in the world, and 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 that actually brought a smile to my face because I mean. I remember last year to, to to while we were doing the running World Cup, we were leading, and there's so much things where we're always uh, featuring, and 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 I, I believe this it, it wouldn't be any different. South Africans are always someone that loves or people that loves finding an occasion to to represent uh, the the country, and that's one of the things that has been, I guess, one of my proudest moments as well, being able to put on that green and gold and just uh, fly our flag. It, 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 internationally and I, I don't think it would be uh, an issue this time around. I think it's just really about uh, motivating everyone to just get out of their, their, their home offices and out of their uh, comfort zones and let's try and uh, challenge ourselves again and, and, and slowly but surely uh, bring smiles to each other's faces. You one person that has never made excuses. You 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 know what you need to do. You've always been that athlete that knows which boxes to tick. And you know which boxes to 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 look forward to. And you know you kind of look ahead at any hurdle that comes away. Having mm -hmm. sat down now post uh, Tokyo, I'm sure you've you've gone. It's gone through your mind so many times mm -hmm. what you could have done differently. I don't like excuses at all. Uh... I, I, I think the thing that that's helped me a lot was accepting responsibility. I mean, this is my career. This is my reality, and this is I take full responsibility for the last three years that that I missed out of uh, out on comp competing at at a high high end level. But I think the positive for me right now is the fact that I'm here again. I'm amongst the best again. I mean, um, got to the Olympic Games. The, the amount of respect that I, I receive from my competitors and the amount of respect that I receive from uh, guys that, that know what I'm capable of uh, really just what, or highlighted to me again that um, I do belong where I, be, where I do belong on the track again. I do belong to be amongst the best in the world again. Um, it's really just about me uh, mentally fixing myself and positioning myself to to put myself in a space and a place to be competitive again. Um, I had so much consist inconsistencies this year, which uh, was really, some of them were necessary and some of them were unnecessary. And I mean, you learn from these decisions and, and mistakes that you make. And, and I think I've made some positive changes in my life. I've made some uh, good uh, choices to direct myself and position myself in a place where I can say I feel very optimistic and positive towards the next few years. Um, if someone had to tell me Tokyo 2023, I'd get a lot of anxieties and fears and stresses. But when you tell me about uh, Paris 2024, I just get a lot of excitement and, and I'm looking forward to this next few years where I can build up towards the next Olympic Games and, 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 and uh, I guess somewhat redeem myself for 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 the challenges and, and the obstacles that I had to face this year and, and quite a lot of disappointments as well. I mean, I went in there being the defending champion and then not even making it to the final. So there was a lot of disappointments that I had to overcome and uh, it wasn't nice, but uh, 
who doesn't like a, a, a comeback stronger than ever before story. The one thing that you just said, and I don't want to read too much into it. You said you you you, you believed once again that you belonged there. Mm-hmm. Uh, should I read anything in between? Should we read anything between from from that line? Um, I did. I guess somewhat. You do take for granted when you are a world champion, Olympic champion, and a world record holder on how tough the event really is. Um, I don't think people really understand and grasp how difficult a 400 meter is. I mean. Going towards the Olympic Games, um, everyone was talking about Wade Van Niekerk and Michael Norman, and none of us were medalists this year. And it just shows you how difficult and how stressful the event is. And it's one that we really need to respect, and it's one that you really need to make sure that you invest enough time in to be the best you when it comes to that competition and when it comes to that uh, race. And um, when I say believe in myself again, it's, it's really just... I'm I, I'm having I'm getting that exposure again. I'm getting back on the track, competing again, racing against the best in the world. Like I mentioned to to Oka, um, when I look at, when I have to highlight races where I can say yes, I ran against the best in the world. It will probably only be Spain and and the Olympic Games. And other than that, I didn't really have uh, the 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 exposure that I would have liked. To compete against these great athletes, and and I feel this this upcoming season is going to be totally different. And the more races I get, the better I'll become. And and I think you'll see it. And and I'll I'll slowly but surely start bringing smiles to South Africa's face again. The juniors just now uh, a short while ago in Nairobi, we saw young kids, young guns, four by one world record. Mm-hmm. So that from the athletics is a good space. New leadership. Uh, it seems to be getting their 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 ducks in a row. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, with with the running World Cup as well, and 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 being the leader of of South Africa, I think when it comes to sporting events, that's one of our our strengths when it comes to uniting as a country. And and I think we really need that again now, a bit of a upliftment and a bit of um, motivation, inspiration, and and yeah, Discovery is is bringing back the the running World Cup way. Uh, last year we were the leaders, but we unfortunately didn't get to finish it. And now we can uh, tap back into that and 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 get that champion spirit back again, and get that winning formula and that winning momentum uh, going again. I think uh, with the juniors as well, seeing how they inspired us and 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 still uh, went out and and represented our country in a in a positive way. The same with the guys at the Olympics and the and the guys now at the the Paralympics. If we look at uh, the the gold medals that we got now, again, I think we're already at two or three now, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it's it's really it's really inspiring to see, even though we've had such a tough year as a country, we're still finding ways to find our our positive and find our drive and 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 and. To be part of an initiative like this and to be part of a, a country like South Africa is always a, a massive privilege for myself. I mean, growing up, if someone had to say in any way I would be a leader for South Africa, some even if it's just a a, a discovery um, 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 initiative, um, being uh, initiating some positivity and, and like you said, smiles and, 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 and some motivation to get people up off their couches again. It's it's more than a privilege for me, and this just I think would be a, a beautiful uh, positive step for myself as well, working towards a massive year that I want to do for in 2022, and and this would be a very positive step. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, brother.